I'm not gonna buy a home until I have 20% down. No, you don't need 20% down. And today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about why. So in part two of frequently asked questions or things that I hear on a regular basis in my real estate life is you need 20% down to buy a house. And that is nice and it's a great dream to have, but for most people, it's not going to happen. The average sales price in New Hampshire was $425,000 last year. So if you do the quick math, that's $85,000 that you're going to need to have in cash, up front, to even buy a house. Never mind closing costs, which in New Hampshire are three to six percent of the sales price, so you're talking about another twelve thousand, sixteen thousand dollars. So now we're looking at what a hundred grand that you have to bring to the closing table. Do you have that? When do you think you'll have that? Now that's a significant amount of money, and as you all know, millennials are the biggest home buying population out there right now. And how, mo how many millennials do you know that have a hundred grand just sitting in a bank account ready to buy a house? Not many. Now before you all come at me, I'm a millennial. I know I don't have a hundred grand sitting in my bank account right now, and I don't know about you. That's why we all have student loan debts. <laughs> but, you know, what else could you do to buy a home? There's lots of other products out there right now. First off, I would say talk to a lender because they'll talk you through all of them, but I'm gonna give you like a brief overview right now. There are home products for first time home buyers where you can put 3% down. A 3% down payment on a $425,000 house is let's say 13 grand just to round up a little bit. That is a lot more obtainable than $100,000 and again, Going back to, you know, three to six closing, you're looking at maybe $26,000. That's a quarter of the cost to buy a house. So that's just one product. Say you do have some cash, there's other products out there that will have 5% down, 10% down. There's even products that if you're buying in certain areas, there's 0% down. Or if you're a veteran, 0% down. There's all types of options out there. They're all based on your credit, your income levels, the type of job you have. Um, and also just be wary that if you're a W-2 employee, things are a little different if you're self-employed. So again, talk to a lender, go through all the steps, see what's out there and what's available to you. And that will be the best step to get you into your new home and without 20% down. Because I know if I talked to 23 year old John, I would have said, buy a condo for 3% down and it probably would have been worth double by now. Maybe even more. Things are crazy right now. So if you have any other questions, please comment below, send me a message, let's get the ball rolling, and I'll help you as much as I possibly can. Until next time.